Okay, congratulations, you've made it to, to the third video in the three video series on how to build a passive solar heater. This one, we're gonna show you the end product and how I finished uh, and installed it. And then we're gonna go over and show the results of it. How much hot air is coming out of it? Is it something that's worth a uh, while? And does it have a return on investment? Do you wanna give it a shot? So stay tuned and uh, let's get started. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how I attached the piece of glass. This is a double pane glass, piece of glass to the box. Uh, you can see down here that I basically just built a little shelf for the glass to be sitting on. So I did this horizontally and then I put caulk in and then I set the glass on with some weight to push against the caulk to make sure that provides a really good seal. And then I put these boards on and then from, uh, from the underneath side, I screwed it to this. And that essentially turned it into a clamp to clamp against the, the glass to keep it down. And I did the same thing up here at the top. So you can see this, this just keeps the glass from peeling off and folding off this way. And you can see how I did the white caulk I caulked in between each set of manifolds here. Uh, here's the other one right here, caulked here. And what this does is this prevents uh, air from traveling between the spaces, except uh, unless it's inside the tube. So the, all of the heat transfer happens within each tube uh, filled with air. Uh, I don't have any of the pop cans touching the glass because I don't want I don't want any heat to be lost through the glass uh, the the glass is warm to the touch and the I have a heat gun here but it doesn't work really well through double pane pane glass so let me just show you right here it is Okay, I want to test the temperature of this. It is 145 on December 12th, 2020, and I'm near Boise, Idaho. And you can see based off of the shadow that it's uh, basically the perfect time of day. And there are not a lot of clouds in the sky, so this, is, this does have direct sun, sunlight. So I have this heat gun here. And let's test. All right, I have this heat gun. And it doesn't, I haven't had much luck working with it. Uh, let's just test the ground first here. So the ground is 50, 3, 49, 51. That's what the ground is, the ground temperature right now. Uh, inside this, this is saying the inside is 80 degrees. This is at the bottom, 81 degrees. And then the cans themselves it says it's at 93. Again, I'm not entirely sure if this is uh, a perfect measurement because it might be getting the air in between the panes of glass. I don't know if it's working 100% properly um, by going through two panes of glass. But let me show you what happens here. We have the return from the air coming from inside the building. Then it comes down here, goes into this manifold down here at the bottom, and then all of the air just naturally rises. As it rises to the top, it gets into this manifold, it comes out of the top manifold and then into the supply, into the building here. And I don't have the this 3 inch OS, uh, 3 inch ABS piping, I don't have it insulated. Obviously it would be more efficient if uh, both were insulated. Uh, but the beauty of this system is it allows you to take air from inside the building and then recirculate it, and every time it recirculates, it gets hotter and hotter and hotter. So let's take you inside. Okay, this is the inside. Again, this is just a shop uh, that I'm using this on. 
And there's no insulation on the walls. It's the walls are really thick, so there's a lot of thermal mass, but there's not a lot of insulation, so there's not a really high R value. But let me just show you what I have here. This is the return uh, down here at the bottom. And just for the purposes of this video, I put this fan here. It's just, just a cheap four inch uh, fan. And I wanna show you what that does, how that changes the, the heat. Um, of the air as you increase the airflow. Uh, but I have, this is where it goes out, and then the hot air goes through, and then comes here, and uh, this is where the hot air comes out. And right now, this is 100% passive, there's no electricity, the fan is not plugged in. So at 2 p.m., about 2 p.m., um, let's see, the inside. Oh, she was focusing. Just a second. Can you see that 161, 165? So 146, the hottest was 167 right there. That's just passively. That's not with the fan on or anything. When you plug the fan in, so I just plugged the fan in. That's going to increase the airflow, which means that the heat, the total heat temperature will drop, but the room will get hotter faster because there's more airflow. It's not just naturally uh, using the, the physics of heat rising to heat up the room. So I'm gonna let this run for a couple of minutes. I, um, I'll just, I guess I could just test it right off the bat. It is, oh, you can't see it. 165, 163. Wow, that is really tough to read. Let me move it. It's because of the sun in the window. There we go. You can read that now. One fifty-eight. So let's let it run for another minute or two and then I'll test it after it's been running for a little while. Okay, it's been running now for a few minutes. I wanted to test the temperature now. So this has it at 160, 148. So it's still in the high uh, 140s, 150s range. And what that tells me is that we're still not at an ideal air flow. Okay, I stepped back outside here and just wanted to talk about the air flow that's going through there. If we're getting temperatures that are consistently 140, 150, 160 degrees, then we need to increase the air flow. And what that'll do is as air, as more air flows through it, then the cans will get cooler because there'll be more heat transfer to more uh, air because more cold air is going through, which will cool the overall amount of air, which will lower the degrees of the overall amount of air going through, um, but there's more air. So the result will be the building will heat up faster with more airflow. So what is the correct amount? Well, I, I don't know exactly, but let's say you wanted the, the building to be 70 degrees on the inside, then ideally you'd want the temperature that's running through this to be cycling 80, 90 degrees in that range with a lot more airflow. So the fact that it's at 140 degrees, while that's amazing, that's not ideal for um, heating the uh, structure. So right now, it, this uh, I don't have a solar panel, an electric PV solar panel installed on this with the fan, but that's the idea and that's the next step where you take a solar panel and then attach a fan on the inside of the building and every time the sun comes up that just automatically turns the fan on and then when the sun goes down the fan turns off because there's no electricity and then that means that air won't circulate so you're not taking hot air from the building and circulating it outside where it's cold so that'll be the end solution we're not there yet but i wanted to give everybody an update on uh, the current solution right now that we have Thanks so much for watching and sticking through all these videos. I hope this has been educational, that you've learned something, and maybe you'll want to give it a try. If you do, 
uh, let me know in the comments. Let me know what you have questions about or what you tried that was successful.